Hiyoreo Sawa. Hi. Hello, you've come Hello. all the way mm -hmm. from Tokyo, Japan yes. to the ESMO meeting mm -hmm. here in Milan, mm -hmm. Italy. Yeah. It's great to talk to you, mm -hmm. and I'm very interested mm -hmm. in knowing what brought you here. Mm -hmm. You're an oncology social worker, mm -hmm. and clinical trials is really what's on your mind. Yes, at this moment, yes. Um, actually, um, my patient, who is 39, and she has triple negative breast cancer, and well, in the, in the medicine available in Japan at this moment, it's not working for her. And she has this five-year-old boy, and she wants to live as long as she can. And we did the research um, using the internet, and I found out the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation does this clinical research matching service. So I asked for that, and then they gave us 10 um, pop, pop inhibitor clinical trials for that, that might, you know, that she, she might be able to apply. So, um, well, I'm, at this moment I'm doing, if she can apply for that, but um, not, at this moment there's no, no, those 10 clinical trials, she cannot apply for it. What's the most important thing mm -hmm. you've said here is that the Triple Negative mm -hmm. Breast Cancer Foundation is based in the United yes, States, and what you're really talking about is the global yes advocacy yes. effort mm -hmm. of how United States mm -hmm. organizations can work on behalf of patients mm -hmm. in other parts of the mm -hmm. world. Now you're very passionate mm -hmm. because you're also yes. a young adult breast cancer yes. survivor. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that how you became an oncology social worker? Um, I've been social, I've been working as a social worker for 20 years already and then I became breast cancer, I mean I got breast cancer seven years ago and then I switched my position. That was from 2007 I became oncology social worker because I'm so interested in oncology area and at that point I was doing lots of patient advocate things. In Japan, mm -hmm. are people open about their diagnosis? If someone has um, cancer will mm -hmm. they talk about it or is there a lot of social stigma? Lots of social stigma. Quite many people think that if I say I have a cancer, many people think that I might die in a few months or few years or so. So if one gets diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer in Japan, will they keep it a secret? When they have to keep on working, um, they, have, they have to tell their boss to get some days off for mm -hmm. treatment or operation and stuff. But but not so many, um, but they only tell their diagnosis to their boss and not to their colleagues. What is the health insurance situation in Japan? Okay, everybody has this national health insurance in Japan. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody can receive the same kind of treatment in Japan. Not like United States, I mean, not like other countries. Like, um, there's no one who has no health insurance, but there are some very poor people and they cannot pay for their um, insurance fee, so they cannot receive the real 100% um, um, insurance. Are women doing breast mm -hmm. self-exam in Japan? Are women taught mm -hmm. to examine their breasts? With the number of women who has an interest for self-examination is increasing, I guess. Is there education from the government healthcare to teach people about cancer? Oh, not from government. From each um, NPO and those people do it. How long has the patient mm -hmm. advocacy movement been active in Japan, do you think? See. Very active, only past five years, I guess. Before that, it was quite difficult to say that we had cancer, so there was almost no survivorship or patient advocate, so they have to hide their diagnosis. So when it comes to clinical trials, I know you're very interested mm -hmm. in the PARP inhibitor mm -hmm. trials yes. now for triple negative mm -hmm. breast cancer. In general, mm -hmm. do doctors yes. talk about clinical trials to patients? Are patients open to the idea of clinical trials? It depends on which guy, what kind of stage the patient is at. Like, they are early stage, they don't care so much about clinical trials because they are not so um, 
they have less of time left. But those like metastatic patient are very has very positive impression about um, clinical trials because they have this you know, there's a chance that they might receive the best possible treatment at that point, and that's only available through clinical trials, not through um, basic evidence based. How do you feel mm -hmm. the United States mm -hmm. patient advocates mm -hmm. could help you in Japan mm -hmm. to achieve your goals? I want every patient who wants to have clinical trials have access to this trial in Japan. So I want to know what I can do to start making that kind of organization work. If not, that's a big story. Um, how can I work with government or medical okay, workers and stuff to start doing it? Well, actually, I have no idea at this point to how to start it. Because I've been doing patient advocacy mm -hmm. for almost 30 years, mm -hmm. when I look at you and mm -hmm. all the people you came with, mm -hmm. you are very important women mm -hmm. because by coming mm -hmm. to ESMO, mm -hmm. you are making a difference mm -hmm. in patient advocacy mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So from one advocate yeah. to another, I thank you. Yeah, um, thank you. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs>